Good afternoon, everybody. We're back here live at IMATS in New York. I'm here with our keynote speaker that spoke with us yesterday, Mr. J Neil Gordon. Hello. And then our museum um, curator that we spoke to on Friday, yeah. Mr. Hey. Josh Turry. How you doing? Go very well. Awesome. You guys have been working away all morning yeah. on a beautiful project. Yeah. I don't know if you joined in earlier, you got to see the entire demonstration of you guys putting oh. a Popeye piece together. Oh. With how many prosthetics did we, how many pieces did we use? Uh, faces, uh, ball cap, back of the head, ears, nose, nose chin, forehead, and neck. So what's that, five, six, seven, eight? Eight, 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 and, eight then the and then you've and got, then, and then the arms. The arms. So nine, and then two tattoos. <laughs> yep. So that's where we go, 11. And you did this all in about two and a half hours while yeah. speaking and demonstrating the whole well, thing we had, as we had well. about half an hour We're, backstage, we just put on the ball cap yeah. and the back of the head. But figured then, it would save a little time, so we just did that back there and then brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it was about a, it was an hour and a hour half. And a half. Yeah, yeah, hour and a half. It's crazy. Do you yeah. guys work together a lot? We have. We've worked together. Have you met a each other before times. today? Yeah. We, you know, we've we've <laughs> met each other. We've uh, tangled before. <laughs> no, oh, we, it's like we, that. We, we've worked together. Yeah, we worked together a couple of times on some projects, but we just we stay in touch. It, it was it was a really fun idea that came up to like. Hey, let's just do something yeah. fun at IMAS. We've never done it. You're coming into town. Let's let's yeah. give it a shot. Let's oh, see what we can so do. Great. You know? yeah. Who sculpted it? Well, I did the face. So Josh. Um, let's bring him over. Come on over. Yeah. I, yeah, I did the arms. Neil did the face. You're gonna get scared from this. Yeah. <laughs> it's very creepy. There he is. Very realistic. Uh, I mean, he looks like he just came give us a, three give dimensionally. Us a, give us a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he just came three dimensionally out of the comic yeah. book, out of, off of the paper. That's what we were trying to just yeah. kind of just pluck, pluck him that's out. That's exactly what it looks like. And um, but yeah, no, I scuffed at the face. Uh, Josh sent me a, a life cast of Greg, and we just you know, yeah. I, mo I did that, and then Josh did arms and uh, show him the arms. We got the so tattoos great. and the arms. And what was funny too is he, Neil was sculpting the facial pieces over there. I'm doing the arms here. So we hadn't really seen what each other was doing except in rough form. Uh -huh. So we hadn't seen the finish. So it was like, then when we started painting each one, I was like, oh, I hope mine matches his. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll fix it on stage if we got it. Right? <laughs> you know? it's, and this is foam? No, no. silicon. It's, it's all silicon. It's all silicon, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are, are they really heavy, those pieces? Like the chin? And... Uh, no, I feel very light. I mean, I, I don't actually feel that it's really on. I have anything yeah. on. I mean, I mean, it's quite a, I mean, the chin is obviously quite thick, but yeah. everywhere else, you know, this is, you know, there's a little volume there, but it's quite thin here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, on the top, yeah. So really, it's the nose and the chin are the only areas. The neck's very thin. And the arms, I mean, the whole, these are solid silicone, so mm -hmm. that's probably about that thick. At the touch point, but they, they move pretty well. They, I think. they feel fine, you know, not, not yeah. nothing saggy. Plus, it gives them a good bicep workout right? as the day is right? going, you know? Not a neck workout. <laughs> so neat. What made you think of Popeye? How did you get that? It was actually Neil's idea. I sent you, I sent him the life cast, and it, like a day after you got it, I think you were just staring at his face. He goes, Popeye. You got a yeah. thing for Popeye? Well, it was just like, okay. I always like kind of taking characters out of, you know, trying a different thing with a character, a well-known character. That's mm. always fun to do. And um, I, I, over the IMATs, over the years, I've done a few things like re-image classic horror characters. I've done Nosferatu and Frankenstein's yeah. Monster and all that kind of thing. And in this case, it was just, I was thinking New York, you know, where's the venue? Was it there? We're, we're in the docks, uh -huh. on the yeah. harbor side. Yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking, yeah. okay, harbors and, you know. There's a method behind this madness. Yeah, there was, you know, <laughs> there was, um, I think, I mean, obviously Robin Williams played Popeye. And yeah. we all remember, you know, there, that was kind of a lot out there the, over the past year. And I just remember thinking, I always loved that character. I loved mm -hmm. seeing him do that, and I thought, well, it'd be nice to have fun. And, and I get, I get a, I get a message from him a day or so later after he got the thing. I, all I got in the message, there was no words. It was nothing. It was just a picture of Popeye. And I looked at it, and I just remember texting back, going, "Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." <laughs> you know, yeah. So that's sort of where it came. From. <laughs> I was like, "That's what we're doing." <laughs> Great minds think alike. Yeah, you, know. But, you know, speaking of that, Robin Williams Popeye. You guys might know the the whole story, but there was a lot of drama behind his pieces, his appliances mm. on that. Did, have you heard about that? There's a whole that? thing with the arms. With the it? arms, like, yeah. it's yeah. serious drama going on. I don't know who, who did it. Was well, it somebody the did it, did it the, originally? Yes, yeah, yeah, the, the Berman. Yeah. Italian crew took over, yeah. and there was yep. all kinds. And they of, were using like a PA from the set, not a makeup PA, just a regular PA to like 
put, take them on and off during the day or whatever because he didn't want to keep them on during lunch yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Like very, very strange drama yeah. behind yeah. that. But I remember first seeing that his look, you know, back mm -hmm. in the day and seeing those arms and being fascinated. I mean, I was only a kid. And, yeah, it seemed like you know, this big being the bulky. kind of on the hair and right. everything being absolutely yeah. like, wow, how do they do that? You know, yeah. It's, so, and, yeah. and that was like also for these I was like and I, I, I believe it's the same for the spacious like we were talking about keeping it sort of a little cartoony but bringing it in like Neil was saying into the real world so mm -hmm. for the arms for me I was like well I could either go yeah. mess like I could go the Robin Williams round yeah, or, uh, or just sort of down a, a little, little bit, bit. yeah <laughs> you know? and, and I mean Greg's got you know he's got good wide shoulder narrow waist but that, that you know it all just balances well you yeah. know the look all kind of the forms Certainly. all tied together. Certainly. So, uh, yeah. uh, you, honest to God, look just like you stepped out of the newspaper. That's yeah. out of the comics. Oh, it really you. looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, we had a wonderful, the wardrobe was all done yeah. by this man yeah. by the name of Jacob Clymer. Jacob, are and you he, here? Where's Jacob? Is he here? Oh, this this is Jacob. Hi, Jacob. What? Come, Come on, on. Come on back here. Perfect. Sorry, sorry. So he, Jacob, Jacob helped, Clymer. Jacob helped us out with the costume for us, and uh, go ahead, tell us what, tell us about the costume. So, uh, when looking at the Popeye cartoons, we uh, probably doesn't really his clothes don't make sense, but they are based on some truths. So, uh, I kind of went back and researched and looked at a lot of the Popeye stuff, and then started looking at other period sailor outfits and fishermen and, and Tom of Finland. Like we pulled from a lot of like cartoony ideas and real ideas to pull it together and kind of make this swarthy man you see before us. Maybe rent should come up front. Yeah, now, were these rentals or did you no, sell we, these? Uh, uh, I'm, I, 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 my background is mostly theater. So I, we went out and like, they, they still make these pants and they still, like, a lot of these clothes are from well-known yeah. depart European department stores. Really? Um, but he did manufacture. But he did manufacture. And then I, you know, and then we made the collar to go with it, and oh, you know, wow. distressed all of it and cut, like, cut it all up, and I, then I hand painted all of it, and, and I think burnt it's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It, yeah. yeah. Stamped on it. Stamped on it. on fire. <laughs> He well, got that, angry on it, but I, it's beautiful, and we couldn't be happier with it. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, yeah no, it, yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. That's what's so nice about doing things. It's when you get that complete yeah. kind of illusion, you know. If we'd have got a cheap kind of, yeah, you know, joke uh, shop, exactly. you know, put some jeans on it. It's yeah. just, you know, it all works together. So I'm, I'm it really tied, yeah, it ties it all together. And I, when we did, first did the fitting, put it on them without the makeup, and it was like, okay, wow, this is going to look really cool. And then today we finally saw it all together, mm -hmm. and it was just like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Just, you know. It's beautiful, and the fact that you did it an hour and a half is, is just nuts. It's stupid, really. I mean, <laughs> it's it's really, it's, 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 it's <laughs> there's, there's a reason why Neil is our keynote speaker this year, and Josh is our museum coordinator. <laughs> there's reasons for that. But this is sick work, beautiful guys. Thank you so much thank for stopping by Thanks and for showing us. us this. And go scare some people. Go scare some little girls yeah, out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, he does that anyway. Yeah, exactly. He does it without the makeup. He's Aww. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Robert. And thank you so much for thank the you. wardrobe too. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, we'll be back really soon on our Saturday Night Live 40th anniversary of the makeup department on IMATS Live in New York. See ya. Take it easy.